Good morning. So we are live. It's now Friday, uh, 31st of March. Gosh, where has the month gone? So in this last week, we've been looking at Profit First. Um, we looked at the different bank accounts we need to set up our Profit First account. So we start with uh, an income account where all of our cash comes in and we use that to allocate against four different sub accounts. So we allocate cash into a profit account, which is your profit. Nothing else goes into that account and you can only take it out if you're paying yourself to do cool stuff and do nice things. So it can only be used to reward profits or reward you for doing the work you need to make your business profitable. The second account was our owner's cash account, which is our owner's living expenses. And um, the third one was our taxes account, so we needed to save cash to pay our taxes and we're paying those out of cash that we've received from profits that we've generated today. And our fourth one was the business expenses account. Now, the challenge, as we touched on yesterday, is how to manage that account in your business expenses. So the idea behind Profit First is that if you haven't got any money left to spend it on expenses, then you can control that cost and you can make that conscious decision not to spend that money. But the reality in business is often quite different. So we have staff um, that need paying, we have um, costs that are on direct debits that are coming out of our business and cash hemorrhages and profit leaks from our business in very many different ways. So the challenge for us as business owners and certainly for us as accountants is where to find those leaks and plug those gaps. So where can we find profit in our businesses? So the 10 minutes at 10 today for everyone is going to look at where to find profit in your business. So there are a number of ways that we can do that. And fundamentally, it's really, really simple. So we can either look at generating more revenue, but creating sustainable, profitable revenue. There's no point in chasing revenue and creating sales that don't actually deliver a profit for your business. So, um, you know, we've all seen it in the past where a job has come up or an opportunity has arisen to uh, perhaps do an extra job for somebody, but it might not be your core service, it might not be something you're particularly skilled in, it might be expensive to deliver. And so, or you cut the cost of that job in order to achieve a quick sale because you want the money and you want the revenue, but actually it ends up costing you more and it becomes a loss making job. So the cost of funding that loss basically comes out of your profit account. So you can't take that profit because it simply isn't there. <coughs> so what can we do about that? Um, it's very difficult sometimes to take a step back and to look at your business more objectively, but that's what we have to do. So let's have a look at all of our clients. And we use a traffic light system. So we um, grade the clients based on a, a green, uh, an orange, and then a red. So a green client is someone who is um, profitable, who is, um, you know, fits our core level of service. Um, they um, potentially, they, they're easy to deal with. So they're not, it doesn't mean they're not, not time consuming, but it means that working with them is a pleasure and you enjoy working with them and they become a green client. An orange one could be a client, um, say a new startup, that requires a lot of time and effort to support, but can't pay you for that time. So they're not particularly profitable, but they could be in the future. And a red client might be someone who um, you know, is needy, they need a lot of support, they're not prepared to pay for it, so um, they never pay their bills on time. Um, you spend money, time and effort in chasing these clients to pay your bills and they still are requesting more help, more assistance, they're, they're, they're quite needing, quite difficult. So we've all had a client like that. So traffic light your clients and the jobs or the systems that you're working with and identify which are your green clients, which are your orange clients 
that you need to perhaps do a little bit of work on, you need to perhaps review their pricing, or you need to perhaps review their service level agreements to see what you're delivering. That's my iPad telling me there's some news. And work out how to turn that profit, that client from an orange client into a green client and make them profitable. Then tackle the red clients. What can you do with the red clients? If they're costing you money and they're not paying their, your bills on time, do you want them? Do you need them? Um, can you work them out? Can you find them, you know, somebody else to deal with? So as accountants, for example, you wouldn't necessarily just remove a client. You would help that client find another supplier who delivers the service that you deliver for them. And your argument to them would be that this other client or this other accountant might be a better fit for this particular person. So we would always seek to make sure that our clients are all green um, the, we do have the, the occasional orange client that we work towards becoming green, but the red clients, you just work them out and find them new homes. If you've got clients like that in your business, you'll know who they are, you'll know they're not profitable, and you'll know that serving them means that you're putting more money from your profit pot into your business expenses pot to service a client that is not really delivering for you in terms of uh, a sale. So fire the bad clients. It sounds counterproductive, but if you can fire the bad clients and leave space in your business or make more space in your business for the profitable clients, you can then work on cloning, creating more of your green clients who are going to value your service, who are going to pay you on time, and who are going to understand how you work together. They become a, a real pleasure and they generate a profit. So number one, is to try and find profit in our sales. <coughs> Number two is to try and find profit in our costs. Now, I haven't seen a business yet where a cost can't, or costs cannot be better controlled or better managed. So go do the, take the same approach to your costs as you have done to your clients and traffic like them. So whether you take them from your accounting system or you take them, you know, take a list from your bank statement or credit card statements, Try and list all of those costs that you would spend on a, an average month or quarter and go through the traffic light system. Now, is that cost absolutely necessary for your business? And I mean, it cannot. your business cannot be done, uh, cannot be delivered if you didn't have that cost. Your service couldn't be offered if you didn't have that cost. It's an orange cost if it's a nice to have cost and it adds value or maybe it doesn't quite add value just yet but it should do in the future. It might be a training course that you've paid for, but you haven't had time to do, or a software system that you're paying for, but you haven't had time to implement yet. So all of those costs, you traffic light them again. So your green ones that are the absolutely necessary and you have to have them. The orange ones are the ones that, you know, give it three to six months. And if you haven't used it or you haven't added value from it, get rid of it from your business. And there should be, there's almost always some red costs. These might be things that you've forgotten you're paying for or a service contract that you're not lo no longer using or contractors that you don't need anymore. Remove all of those from your business and that cash that would have gone to pay that business expense then goes into your profit pot to pay your profits. Now, we should also be looking at staff. Are our staff adding value? Are they delivering? Are they at least generating enough income to cover their wages? Or are they, co or are they delivering enough um, service so you don't have to go and buy that somewhere else? So again, you grade your traffic, you traffic like your staff, and you might have staff that um, you know, aren't working particularly well, uh, that might need to more tight control that might need to have a, a training program put in place or they might need to have a performance review put in place to make sure that they're effective and they're delivering the way they should be so again it's often not hard to work out which are your you know your green light staff and who are doing an absolutely stellar job and doing a wonderful thing for you and those staff that perhaps really are becoming more of a drain on the business and are costing you money but aren't actually helping you generate money. Have a look at your materials. Are you overbuying materials? Have you got too much stock of materials? Can you sell some of those materials and bring that cost, that income back 
into the business, out of stock, and into your profit account. Um, sometimes uh, there's a lot to be said for buying in bulk and having that stock sitting on your shelves ready for you to use it. Sometimes that creates a cash flow problem because you've then got stock sitting there that's not actually doing anything and it's taken cash out of your business. Well, we have seen um, in the past clients who do buy stock, they take um, you know a big stock order on, it sits there and then the, the product changes or the service changes, the world changes in such a way that that stock now, although it was cheap at the time or more cost effective to buy in bulk at the time, has then become redundant. So they thought they were getting you know this incredible um, cost saving, but actually it's turned out to be a huge loss. And that's a genuine risk in some businesses. So have a look at all of your costs and all of your incomes to see which fit in the traffic light system of absolutely necessary or delivering absolute value for your system, which ones need reviewing or working out and which ones need to be immediately removed from your business. The red ones just shouldn't be there, whether that's a client, customer or um, a cost. So that's our 10 minutes at 10 today for everybody. We did a brief overview of how to find profit in your business. Uh, for those of you that are in the BBB club, um, your modules will be live later on today, this evening. I'm uh, not entirely sure when yet. Harry's off today, so I'm covering him. And I've got a few calls I've got to make to uh, speak to a few people first. So that will be um, delivered later on today, and we'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye.